Hello, I'm Megan, aka Just Run It, and this is Megan's Monday Musings. Uh, I hope that you're having a fabulous Monday here in the United States. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and many people have the day off. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the day off if uh, you have it off, and if you don't, I hope you take time to um, appreciate uh, the fabulous words of wisdom um, and love and um, ending hate that um, Martin Luther King Jr. spread um, in his words, his prolific words. Um, I am excited today because I get to share with you a new design of mine that I gave you a sneak peek of last week called the Cup of Kindness Cowl. Uh, so I often hum along to the old Lang Syne um, song on New Year's Eve, but there is a, um, a lyric in there that says, we'll take a cup of kindness yet. Um, and so that imagery of a cup of kindness that you could fill, um, like we're all walking around with a virtual one, has really stuck with me um, more than anything from that, from that song. Um, and so when I'm doing something kind for others, I think of it kind of from pouring, in, pouring from my cup into others. And um, when I do something kind for myself, I think of kind of pouring into my own cup. Uh, and so this design is really inspired by that and kind of the fill line, um, half full, always half full, uh, that we have um, on that cup of kindness. And, um, and so let me show it off to you. So uh, this is, it's a gaugeless pattern. So that is the main premise of this pattern is that I fell in love with the Langfield uh, and that I could just do anything, right? I could do mixology and put two yarns together that I absolutely loved. Um, and all I had to do was pick a needle size that really fit um, and created a fabric that I enjoyed. And so um, that was kind of the main premise of this cowl. It's um, also knit on the bias. Um, I can show you with one that's um, not seamed together. It's just buttoned together. Um, but you cast on uh, and then it's knit on the bias by increasing on one side and decreasing on the other. And um, it's got a rolled edge, which I think you'd probably be able to see best here. So kind of an eye cord, but or a rolled edge. Um, it's reversible. So not only is there that fill line slip stitch um, on the front, but it's also on the back. Um, and as you can see, you can knit it in one color or you can knit it in multiple colors. And so this one was striped with two colors and this one was just that main color. And so uh, the pattern includes uh, recommended uh, cast on. So you're, you have to cast on a multiple of eight, but it, um, a, re a recommended cast on for certain sizes and certain needles, but ultimately you can just kind of cast on until it seems like it is wide enough. Uh, and then uh, you're, you're working that bias and the rolled edge and this stitch, um, this stitch here you can see where I seamed this one, but um, the slip stitch motif is really fun. Um, this stitch itself does not move. So the stitches around it move. Um, the increasing on one side pushes it and the decreasing on the other side pulls it. And it, that fill line of, of kindness being filled up um, continues up the cowl. So you can knit until you've ran out of yarn, um, which I, I primarily did with this super bulky one. Um, you get a good two loops um, with, with the bulky. I think I used two skeins of the Yarn B um, Hue IQ that I picked up uh, around the holidays. Um, and again, that's just the one color. And then uh, for two colors, I got um, Lion Bran. It's a Ferris wheel. So it's kind of a gradually um, gradient. Um, it definitely transitions and I, I loved the green. I just used the one cake of that. Um, and again, the pattern has all of the specifics of how many I cast on for this, how long it ended up being, how much yarn I used, but just as an example of what the samples are, because again, it's gaugeless. Any yarn that you have that you absolutely love that you're like, oh, that would make a great cup of kindness cowl, it'll work with this because the, the pattern is basically gaugeless um, and you don't have to hit a specific gauge. 
Uh, then there is some figuring out. Here's the here's the seam there. You could provisionally buy or cast on and then end up kitchenering that if you wanted. But I just um, the two finishes that I included in the pattern are the the seaming um, a cast on edge and the bind off edge, which are again um, they're complementary slanted um, angles. So and then also I um, include a button band finish and so that you can put um, buttons on there but so that's pulling from the inside and the outside of the ball this green one was um, and it creates kind of those I, I think I've heard it described as like burning stripes they like they just slowly transition um, into each other and then you start over that um, you start up over that fill line, that traveling stitch once it reaches the edge, and then you just repeat until you get a long enough cowl. So this one's a little longer. Again, uh, works real well as a um, as a two looper. Uh, and then for another one, so this one is worsted weight. Uh, for another one, I got um, a Lion Brand cupcake uh, when I was at Joann's, and this is how long you get for um, using one full skein of that. Again, the details are in the pattern of the sample. And so I pulled from the inside and the outside and the stripes, the colors just changed and changed into each other. This one, I thought it would be fun um, to, I did put, the, I do have the buttonholes on there, um, but I thought it would be fun to use maybe my enamel pins to close it up. Um, have good locking backs on them so that they won't fall off. Um, and I've just got Happiness is Handmade and You Betcha Minnesota. And I just run it pin, enamel pin. Um, so this one is good and long. Uh, you can wear these again, um, just kind of dangling around your neck. Uh, you can tuck it inside your coat. Um, or you can, um, you know, wrap, wrap, wrap. <laughs> How many times do you fill up your cup of kindness? and it keeps you uh, nice and warm. Uh, you can also, because of the, the end, unless, unless you seam it, you could just wear it as a, um, as a scarf, right? Uh, with, the, um, with the ends unattached. Uh, you know, there's the complementary slanted angles there that you can connect together or you could have the two um, biased ends overlap and um, button it that way and bring it down like that. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy um, all of the color changes that happened with these yarns. So this was a fingering weight um, with a self-striping in uh, and a solid. I put the buttons on there and then um, that one traveling stitch is uh, in what I call C2 or color two, um, or and then the um, C1 is your cast on and your bind off and your button band if you cho so choose to put a button band on your um, on your cowl. But uh, it's it's a fun fun design. Obviously, uh, knit it quite a bit. Uh, had some test knitters say that they really enjoyed. The, um, the color changes when they used color changing yarn um, or self striping. And uh, also solids are variegated. Um, you know, this one is one of my favorites. Um, you could do it with hand spun with those color changes and that traveling stitch is just, um, it really pops out, especially on this bigger weight yarn because it's moving so quickly across the, across the cowl. Um, but uh, it can be, as I said, worn in multiple ways. It can be knit up in multiple ways. It can be finished in multiple ways. Uh, versatility is, is the key on, on this design. Um, because I want to pour from my cup into your cup of kindness, um, the pattern will be free today through, the, through 12.01 a.m. on January 22nd uh, with the coupon code KINDNESS. Uh, and all that I ask is if you download the pattern, um, if you could then share a kindness with somebody else, whether that's a random act of kindness, whether that's reposting that this pattern is free and you can go download it um, and just share some kindness with somebody else. Pour from your own cup into somebody else's cup. 
Um, after that, on the 22nd, the pattern will be a dollar. And then after um, that, on the 23rd through the 27th, it'll be 50% off. So um, I hope you guys are as excited about this design as I am. Uh, really, really enjoy the versatility and the gagelessness. And it's really kind of opened up my mind to being creative with the yarn. Um, you know, you've kind of got your, what you're going to be doing with it. And then you are finding different yarns, right? So there's no time that you're like, oh, I can't use that yarn. Uh, unless you feel like you wouldn't have enough to get, um, you know, a full loop uh, around your around your neck. Although I, I had, like I held up this when I was knitting it, um, and it could be a pretty good headband if you had a pretty short length of, of yarn. <laughs> you just end up seaming the two biased slanted edges together and you would have a, have a nice headband. You, could, you wouldn't even have to seam it, you could button it. Um, but uh, again, share, share that kindness with others. Uh, and uh, I'll include kind of some of the, the project photos uh, and um, photography from the pattern um, in a montage here at the end. Bye, Ufta.